You're not a grown adult because you specifically said that if we're gonna argue, you will walk away. You specifically said that if we're gonna argue, you're gonna walk away. I agree, Dre. I think so. You're right. I don't want to talk. Thank you. You told me to go talk to a judge. This is why we can't. Yeah, this is why we can't. So please don't pick him up from school no more. Say goodbye. You just told me the days. It's Wednesdays and Fridays. You said I could take him home. You said you would drop him off. I would take him home. That's what we're doing. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, I did not. So this argument is because. So wait, wait, wait. This argument. Be grown. Hold on. Let's be grown. So this argument is because. Exactly. Let me have him. Exactly. I told you that you're not going to. Exactly. Him up Witnesses. My niece yeah. witnessed this yeah. nonsense. Yeah. The smirk and all of that don't care. <laughs> my, my niece witnessed all of this. <laughs> my son witnessed all of this because you can't. Good. She want to tell me Look, plans with my son for his birthday, but I can't tell her nothing I'm doing with my son. And I told her it hurts my feelings. Look and now this is what it gets. Look at this. I take care of him. Yeah, Instagram. That's all you can do. Listen. Don't judge with that. Listen. Why are you not running to a judge? Hey, where are you? Together. That's why. Exactly. Yeah, I'm yelling. Yes, I am yelling. Go to a judge. Go get a job. Yes. Reactions. Pay Instagram. Yet again. Alright, I'm gonna put you down so you can go with your mom. She has to leave away from my presence. Try yet again. You tried to tell me how it's gonna go, right? Never nobody playing your game. Have a good day. Take, take our son, take our son and go ahead. Yeah, Have a yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop talking yeah, to me, please. Yeah, yeah. Stop yeah, talking to me, please. Yeah, yeah. Dre? I didn't come here, I love you. Come get your stuff. Our come on. started, and you don't know how to Come here, Papa. Come get your yeah. stuff. This is all you can do. Take it to the side. One of my nieces, too. Disgusting. Ladies, go upstairs, ladies. Just say bye to Dre. Go upstairs, y'all. Bye. Come say bye to Emily. Not want you at his party gathering. Nothing changes. Yet again. Who's the aggressor here? Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to that female. Yeah. I'm not but talking I, her at all. Yes, yes. 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 The food I bought my son and his toys and stuff is going to waste. Bitter fucking baby mother. You want your water, Papa? Come get your water. Come, come get your water. I got it. You're not a grown adult because you specifically said that if we're going to argue, you will walk away. Welcome back to Conversation with Me. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. And... Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend as we are growing the channel. We're growing the channel bit by bit. <laughs> so as you've seen in the beginning, that video is typical. Now, as I said, I'm going to start asking this question. Who does she represent? Right now. I know y'all get online and y'all say pick me and all these little names that where you see man being done wrong, no woman can call it out, right? But at the same time, we got to chill. And don't get me wrong. Let me say this from the beginning because niggas can be just as bitter as women. Sometimes when they can't have you, they don't want the baby. And it literally be like, oh, I don't want a relation. I mean, I don't, I don't really want to do nothing with the baby or I, don't, I, I can't really make time because I can't have you. That is a true thing. 
But let's just speak for us and be on our side as women. You know, I'm just speaking for me though right now is because I've never been in a situation. Let me think. Have I been in a situation? No, I've never been in this situation. Now, um, she was clearly just bitter. She was just clearly bitter. A bitter baby mom who couldn't get her way. And now she just want to take it out on a kid. So this is what I mean. Like young moms. First time moms. If you're not in a relationship with the dude anymore. Man, you got so much on your mind. So much is going through your head, right? And with all that going through your head and trying to learn everything and your job, your work, your income, your living situation, yada, 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 you don't have the time or the energy to store in your body to keep this kind of stuff up. The boy look about five, six, still don't have all that time to, um, to store this type of energy in your body. The reason I'm saying that is because you, you, when you grow and as you get older, you don't even have time for stuff like this. You don't even have, it's so much real stuff on your mind that an argument don't even mean nothing. Drama don't even mean that. And that's so secondary to what's going on. And for you to create uh, an argument out of nowhere for the, the dad can't go pick the kid up. Who are these women who don't want this relief from the dad? <laughs> who are these women? Now I can see, I understand you not wanting the kid to go to a whole nother country or across the country to live forever. That's understandable. But even if the kid has to go across country, you got to allow him to go for some kind of time with the other parent. I don't understand women who don't want relief. I'm just, I don't know. It blows my mind to where the dad go pick him up and now you just angry. Speaking to moms, first time moms. And people who are pregnant and they're about to go through this kind of thing and you're not with the guy. Even if you are with the guy, shit can be on the up and up and if it go left. You got to have clear communication. If somebody does not want to keep clear communication, then all you really have is yourself and trying to map it out on your own. But if the child, if the dad goes and pick up the child, don't try to interfere with that and say, Especially don't try to interfere with it if it's not important. Like if he's not interrupting a, a sleep, if he's not interrupting dinner, if he's not interrupting um, something like a doctor's appointment. And the reason I said dinner is because like, are you going to feed the child? If you make sure the child is um, fed, then okay, it is what it is. But let's not try to interrupt sleep. Let's not try to interrupt doctor's appointments and things like that. Other than that, take the baby, man. You can have the baby as long as you want the baby. Bring the baby back home. Bring the baby back safe. And that's all I ask. I don't care what woman he's around. Yes, I do. I'm not going to say that. Um, long as you have him in a safe environment, I'm okay. Let's talk. But see, a lot of women, I'm telling you, man, a lot of women just don't want to say, man, I, I fucked up. And you know what? The thing that turns a lot of women bitter is because they hold on to, to how they should have did it. Damn, I noticed this red flag. I noticed that red flag. He already had a baby mom. I know how he was running through bitches. I know how I, I, I shouldn't even fucked with this nigga. I should have made him put the condom on. I shouldn't have been there. I should have got the abortion. I should have took the bland B. Should have, should have, should have, should have, should have. And you beating yourself down. You just bam, 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 bam. What you need to understand is that that time is not going to come back, baby. So stop beating yourself up. 
Stop beating him up in a situation and just parent. Do what's best for the kid, man. Look at this little boy. He yelling. Mom, stop yelling. Now that make you look like the bad guy. You look stupid and ignorant. Because you don't because you can't control your emotions in front of the baby. Because he can't stay with the dad for however long he was going to stay with the dad. Now, granted, I know. Hey, people going to jump in the comments. You don't know what was going on. All of a sudden, you know, people be on these internet and in these internet comments. And, you know, they know all the facts. They know all the facts. Oh, he was abusive. Oh, he, you know, he didn't work here. He didn't pay child support. He didn't do... How you know? How you know? Oh, well, you can get the records from here. You can get the records from there. Hey, man. Things can be um, taken to the court. And if I don't have money to fight this stuff, it can stay right there, man. It can stay on that black and white print. So y'all can't just keep running off and saying and acting like y'all know everybody's life. And that's another thing I'm tired of seeing. You can't keep sitting up here talking about, well, put on a condom, put on a condom, put on a condom. Because do you, if you're going to run with put on that condom stuff, then just be happily married. Your kids growing up and they're healthy and they're moving on along in life. If you done broke up, got a divorce, you ain't with the baby dad, you ain't with your husband no more and all that, chill with all that put on a condom shit. If you ever had raw sex outside of wedlock, chill with all that put on a condom shit. All I'm saying is, ladies, let's stop beating on ourselves. We beating ourselves up mentally because what we didn't do and we could have changed in the beginning. So now all you can do is talk to the young lady coming up behind you and say, don't be like me. Really pay attention to those red flags. If he does something that does not sit right with you for real. Get up out of that situation. You don't have to sit up there and try to work it out and do all this extra love stuff. First of all, Stop dating in your 20s. You don't know what you're doing. You don't have no money. You have no career popping off yet. Your 20s is your time to buckle down, grind, learn something, uh, master it, and get paid off of it. It's not time to be in no lovey-dovey relationship. Trust me, I know. I wasted my 20s doing that dumb shit when I knew I had so much more in life and just didn't have anybody to get me down that road and guide me so for all you extra old bitches who still bitter about your baby dad I'm not talking to you I can give fuck less about you I'm talking to the young ladies who Maybe 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Man, suppress all that. Sh man, that shit is, ain't nothing. All that, keeping up all that riffraff back and forth, man, it ain't that deep. Man, you got so much to grow in your mind. You gonna look back and be like, man, I was, I was bitter for no reason. Like, damn, bitch, you was doing a little too much. You could have chilled. And if it's gonna be a money thing... Listen, I, I can leave that one up to you. But for me, psh, you do what you do. If you don't, you don't. And that's what that is. But, hey, that's going to be on you in the end. Conversations with me. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Conversations with me.